So ladies, it seems that men are always kind of at fault when it comes to a lot of relationships. And I say this because someone tweeted um, a few moments, a few months ago, y'all are so used to dealing with trash N word. You don't have to face your flaws because you're used to being the best one in the relationship. So when an N word actually cares and wants you to be better, y'all start questioning if you're enough. I see. Thoughts. So he's basically saying that because women are so used to men being under par, mm. they then Don't negate, know how to... they negate their own issues when they are the issue in the relationship. Yeah, and okay. they also can't appreciate when a good a person good guy, yeah. is in and front of them. And they might be the one that And has they're just trying up. to bring out yeah. the flaws in mm. you. Yeah. I think that's manipulative, to be honest. Ooh. I say that because... Everybody has a relationship that isn't always, I don't know, I wouldn't say like perfect, but we all have our issues in a relationship. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily to always do with the guy not being up to scratch. Sometimes he could be amazing, but we're just not compatible. And sometimes that's just it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a lousy tweet, to be honest. In very transparent honesty, I am of the opinion that, like I, everyone knows I ride for women all the time, but I do think we're not that great at accountability sometimes. Yeah, true. And saying sorry. Mm -hmm. And I do think that sometimes relationships occur where the woman has her own issues. But because as women, we're so used to men messing up in a major way, when we have minor mess ups, not necessarily cheating or, or mm -hmm. uh, inappropriate behavior mm -hmm. that's directly related to loyalty or anything like that. It could be serious insecurities. It could mm. be narcissism. Mm. It could be Attitude being, problems. Yeah, yeah, just being, being rude, being very needy. I think that sometimes women can be the source of their relationship problems, mm. but we're so used to like society saying, Men are the one. When a relationship fails, they messed up. Yeah, like, yeah. trash. Exactly. <laughs> and I've been in relationships before, <laughs> but we, but but, but, but it's true. We're so yeah. used to like hearing that. Mm. So I've been in relationships before where the relationship has ended because it just fizzled away, and people are like, "What did he do?" Why? And it's like, why do you assume he, he did anything? Right. But we're so used to that narrative, and it can be hard for us to admit fault sometimes. I th I think we can also be used to a certain type of guy. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it, it, it can just be as something as small as like, I mean, maybe we are used to a guy taking long <laughs> to text us back. Do you know what I mean? And we're just used to that kind of, why hasn't he called me? Why hasn't he texted me? Or you're used to having to say, um, let's go here, let's do that. You're kind of, that's what you're used to, right? So you, you just think that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then when a good guy does come along, I do think that sometimes we can like have a... Sounds a bit like entitlement to me. Entitlement it, on whose side? On the, on the guy who's like being vocal, like vocalizing that he's into her. Just because you're into me doesn't mean I need to necessarily be into you. And it's kind of like, like, correct me if I'm wrong, like, you know what nice guys kind of say? Like, oh, I'm a nice guy. I'm guy, showing yeah. you that I'm interested. It's just like, okay, but maybe you're and just not the one. And yeah, you're doing all the things that a good guy should be doing, yeah. but there could still be other aspects which you don't actually have that I'm looking for. But sometimes for. he's not the problem. Like sometimes like we, it yeah. is actually Perhaps. us. That Due to how true. we've yeah. been that treated, that that's, that's how we are now treating this guy. Like he is the problem when actually we have to like, sometimes you have to have therapy of yourself. Yeah, of course. And kind yeah. of be like, yeah, I told you am, am I like, making okay, good choices Why am or I being bad like choices? this? Yeah, yeah. why mm. am I being like really like sharp with him, for example? Yeah. He's just asking me how I am and I'm just being very like, I'm cool, man. I said, I'm cool, man. Like, what's the problem? Mm. Kind of thing. Why am I being like that? Where mm. has that come from? And I don't think women do that enough. I read honest. something about different like attachment types in psychology. Like I can't give like the detail, but it was about our relationship with our parents and how we often mirror that. Mm -hmm. So it was about how some women who are not necessarily close with their fathers and they don't have that close attachment and close bond with their fathers um, seek to mirror relationship, to seek to have relationships that mirror that in the hopes mm. that they can fix people or mm. make them love them. Yeah. Because they never got that love, they want to prove to themselves that, oh, I'm not the problem because I can make someone who's like that love me. Mm. So I do think there is some truth in that element that sometimes yeah. we as women go for that bad guy, not because that's necessarily what we want, but we have been accustomed to it and we want to prove something to ourselves mm -hmm. and prove that a bad guy is able love to me. love yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Asked myself, why is it a guy who 
comes across as a bad guy? Why is he more attractive than the guy who Can is we define being what a bad guy? But what is a bad guy? Like I, I, when I think of a bad guy, yeah. I see as a guy like I do actually have to wonder what he is thinking. Like a guy that is mm, just not attentive. He's not like he's so there's I'm mystery having, behind. Yeah, there's him. always yeah. a mystery. So, uh, when I think bad guy, I think like a road man. No, 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 no. But but there there is one as well. Sometimes one. always yeah, cheating. Like, like, yeah, that is one aggressive, as well. Aggressive, like not mysterious. I don't know. I don't know. What What would you define it as? I mean, things you've mentioned, I will definitely like someone who's mysterious, I guess someone who's been in trouble with the law, road, um, See, when I see bad guy, I don't think of it that, because I'm not dating Really? That's no. not how most people... That's not a trouble. I, I feel like a, a bad, bad guy is a there is no, there is no, <laughs> <laughs> there is no single definition, because if yeah, you ask a girl that lives in Berkshire with blonde hair and blue eyes, she's not going to say a road man when she's yeah. dating yeah, yeah. So it, it's down well, to like personal... <laughs> it could be the guy that's on the motorbike down yeah. the country lane. No, but that's my <laughs> point. Everyone has their own personal interpretation, but I think the core of a bad boy is that he's somewhat emotionally unavailable. Yeah, that's it. That's basically, yeah. yeah, emotionally okay, unavailable. An F boy, not. Yeah, that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. that can work. Okay, so then what's the definition of a good guy? He's a good feeling. guy <laughs> dates with intention, with positive intention. Jeez. That's that's that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's the definition that's it. of a good okay, guy. Someone who dates with intention. Okay, right. so my issue is I have to ask myself. <laughs> I have an issue too. Yeah, I've had to ask myself. <laughs> No, because I've had to ask my... I like to have therapy with myself. Like, I talk to myself. I'm mm. like, okay, girl, like, this is what's going on. Mm. And my issue is, is that <laughs> guys who are emotionally unavailable, for some reason, are often, like, more appealing. appealing. Because I feel like, like, kind of what you said, like, I feel like I can make him available emotionally. You know, I feel like they're just him. exciting And I don't know in why. The have you ever been with a bad guy before? Any of you guys, actually? Yes. How was I it? I feel like my... <laughs> yeah. I've, well, I've only ever had one boyfriend in my whole life. <laughs> And I think Why are you not laughing? I don't know. Because I don't, okay. I don't know. And, and, I'm, and I'm happy about that. It's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm perfectly okay discipline. with that. Okay. Um, yeah, I've only had one boyfriend, like, like a proper boyfriend. And I would say that he was a bad guy because he was like always on roads, and, like went out a lot, very outgoing, had a massive group of friends. We all kind of like the chase. Like men like the yeah. chase. Women to an extent like the chase. It's human nature. But I think also as women, there's almost that innately maternal piece of you that wants to save people, fix people that, and that's take it. care of them. Right. Yeah. So when save you your complex. Yeah, save your complex. Everyone save wants your to be though, We're to nurturing, that. that's women. why. We're right. nurturing. So I remember, I remember reading a tweet. I can't remember who tweeted it because I would love to credit them, but it was like a women are not rehabilitation centers for men. For men yeah. And we, we seriously think we are. We seriously think our job is to Badly take him as well. Badly from zero men. and bring him to 100. Yeah. Yeah. But why is it that when men date, they're looking for someone who's already at 100? Exactly. Why can't we exactly. just, why, we why, why, why to just told them well. it's ridiculous. that they should, that they are allowed to be with wives or, or you know, the best oh. of the best or the creme de la creme. Whereas we, we have to help fix and, 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 and yeah, you know, and also support been, their yeah. shitty old dreams. And we've also been conditioned uh -huh. also. <laughs> and we've also been conditioned to just like go for the guy who, like to just wait and like go for the guy who wants who comes us. To us. Mm. And that guy would, you know, even if he isn't completely all the way there or whatever, we're supposed to accept that because we're there to help him grow and mm. nourish his dreams yeah. and make well, him the, the great man he's supposed to be <laughs> and fluff him up. Guys, the, where's the, your Bible, the Bible does say <laughs> yeah, that, that he who finds know, a wife finds a thing. No, that's not the scripture I'm talking about. We should find, we should find, that's not scripture. Why don't you get this on No, that's not the scripture either, but they're both valid. Boaz and Ruth, that's what we need to be at. Let me drop the scripture, let me drop the scripture. Drop the scripture. What I was going to say is that the Bible does say that the woman is the help meet. So we are kind of, meant to be there to help our partner. But I think it, it, it's gone to a point where women have now kind of gone to the extreme where depending on like what you're saying, your upbringing, um, your previous relationships, things that you've had to deal with and your own personal character and yeah. self-esteem. There's so many things that could come into play. We kind of overcompensate and we feel like, okay, my job is to fix everybody. Yeah, there's a difference the between fixing with. and helping. Hey guys, it's your girl Mercedes Benson here and I'm gonna give you my top five tips on how to be a girl boss. Number one, I would say, is action your thoughts. There's so many times we let fear get in the way of us bringing our ideas to life, but I say put them to the side and just do it. Number two, don't take no personally. Now there's gonna be a lot of times where we hear no from people that we love, people that we admire, people that we really wanna work for, collaborate with, but sometimes timing just isn't right. So if you hear no, don't fret, 
keep on pushing and that yes is going to be around the corner number three i would say is to get yourself your own girl boss tribe now as the saying goes no woman is an island so make sure you surround yourself with other women who are killing it in the game just as much as you are laugh together have fun together work hard together number four i would say is make sure you do your research now there's no point having an idea or trying to get a business off the ground when you don't know who your competitors are you don't know what the landscape is you just have no idea of what you're trying to do and who's around you so make sure you do your research study your craft endlessly practice endlessly and be the best that you can be and number five would be have no plan b now to be a girl boss it means you're gonna have to have laser focus so there's no point having any plan b's or c's or d's focus on plan a and make sure you execute 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 so those are my top five tips on how to be a girl boss now the rest is up to you would you that's say a, there's a yeah, difference a clear so, difference so that. obviously it's been a couple of years now since we had the whole debate about dating potential going to get mine and not potential it's not that he has potential yeah. i want to see the potential I ah see, I see. Mm. potential i hate the no, potential because word I, again i think that's a new breed generation i don't like the word potential it's doesn't it sound like a kid who's misbehaving in class they're yeah. not getting the right grades and then parents evening oh well little timmy's doing great you know he's got potential yeah, but that's I do a lie think some men, <laughs> no but I, I do think that sometimes you can meet a man and he honestly does have potential like he has a vision and that he has scary. potential do you know what i mean he may not yeah. be where he wants to be right now but mm. he has potential and i think potential is good i think potential i think potential potential means you are going to compromise yeah something. Sim what? it's like a synonym it's like a synonym i agree i just feel like when a, when it, when my it's girls come up to me and be like oh he's, he's got, got potential. potential would you say that that is still your stance today like Meet what happened Nita, <laughs> especially. How do you now feel about guys. dating a guy with potential? Guys, you know how many L's I've taken because of that? I'm wow. I said it. I said it. No, it's okay. a dangerous, it's a dangerous it's game a to dangerous, play. It's so like, dangerous. The thing is, you get I still, all especially when you're at a particular age. The thing yeah. is, like, I still, I actually still do. That. I still. I do still believe in potential. It's just that it's been narrowed down. Like it's more specific. <laughs> a type of potential. About what that potential, potential. is. Can you collect the bag is. tomorrow? Like, I feel like if there's a, you have to be really like careful because they are guys who are ambitious and they do have things that they, they want to achieve. Mm. But you have to ask yourself, why haven't they done it yet? Especially when you get to like a certain age. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What like, is it? Is that's it? age really discrimination. It's, 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 no, it's not. No, it's reality. Agree, no, it's no, reality. No, reality. That's you have to see it. You have to see it. Like, okay. I think before I was of this, look, I'm always going to be about potential because of how my parents met. Do you know what I mean? Like, when my mom met my dad, my dad didn't have anything and yeah, she but believed it's a new in him. No, so I still, in in the my foundation yeah. is believing in a believing that a guy can grow the way I believe I can grow. I'm not exactly where I want to exactly, be yet, and true. I believe that you know there's you know I've got potential to be great and to do great things. However, there are some guys who are lazy. There are some guys who actually purposely date women so mm. that they can carry them. Sponge. Yeah, you know what I mean, that like they don't oh actually yeah. exactly they don't actually mind not putting in the work. They're yeah. very happy to date a girl that's doing well mm -hmm. and just ride the wave yeah. and be basic and, be a leech. and then let it go you know what i mean so yeah. i think that i think you have to know whether Discernment. a guy is ambitious yeah. or is it empty ambition mm. which is ambition without work do you yeah. know what i mean like yes. i can i can wholeheartedly support a man that has a dream and he has a vision of what he wants to do and he feels like he needs certain things to get that in place i can happily support that because for me i know the kind of man that i want to be with and i want i know where my weaknesses are mm. and i know that i there's a certain kind of guy that I want that's going to help me yeah. reach my full potential, mm. make my business better because he's smarter than me or whatever the case may be. So I'm happy to be that woman to someone else. Mm. Yeah. So I guess there's a difference between <laughs> dating a guy for potential because it, of potential you see yeah. and dating a guy for potential because of potential he sees and you see. Yeah. Because we exactly. all see guys and we think, oh, you have so much potential. But, but if it? he doesn't see, see it, it and he's not putting the work in, then it's like, well, also, like, you can reveal to him, like, because sometimes, like, I do believe can in purpose mates. <laughs> no, 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 but I, I believe in purpose mates. Like, some, you might mm. not, you can meet a guy and he shows you that, wow, like, you are really good at this. Like, you're really mm. good at organizing things. Like, you should get more into this and mm. da, 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 da. You can, so a guy can help you reveal that more is very of your true. potential. That is very true. But it's just a thing of like, it's the laziness aspect. It's like, don't make up potential. That's mm. what I mean. Yeah. Like we're very, we, we're, we're very idealistic. Yeah. yeah, we're very idealistic. Great we'll meet a scenarios. guy and we'll create this whole yeah. scenario, but it's not there. Be realistic. Like is, the, is that potential actually there or are you trying mm. to change him? Yeah. Has yeah. anyone ever I mean. dated uh, a guy where, or been in a relationship where you felt like 
you have had to sacrifice yourself in order to support them or you feel like you've had to kind of um, do the most in order to try and focus on what they're doing and kind of negate what you're doing and what you're about? Luckily, I, I, I have, mm. but yeah. in hindsight, it wasn't because they asked that of me. It's because of I was doing motherly, maternal, let mm. me support your dreams yeah, at home. Because yeah, yeah. at no point did the person ever say, do, do x this. y and z mm. but i in my head told myself i must do x y and z so he can reach his goals yeah. and if i could change that i wouldn't have done it like that mm. and the irony is the person didn't even want me to do it like that when we finally communicated that mm. but mm. i have been in a situation where i've kind of put things on the side because i was very much focused on them mm. and helping them grow mm. and helping yeah, them yeah. prosper um, mm. to my detriment yeah. but I think it had to happen for me to recognize that you're doing you know what, on the low I could have really progressed between this time and this time yeah. but I was so focused on them yeah, and yeah, not yeah. myself yeah 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 I've done that in dating where I feel like I I did the most so that I can look like I will make a really good girlfriend so that <laughs> God do you know what I mean yeah like wifey so, I'm wifey yeah, so <laughs> I want hunting. him to know yeah husband hunting yeah I guess but just wanting to like show that, hey, I can make a really good girlfriend. So, hey, I'm going to um, make this or I'm going to like pick you up and I'm going to do this. And these times I don't want to do it. Like I'm just doing it so I can prove a point. Yeah. And ultimately they didn't choose me anyway. So it was yeah. just a waste of time. Oh. Like, oh, wow. Sorry. So wow. you wow. that? Wow. I think, no, but that's like, no, because like I said, I talked to myself. You have to like know yeah. what you're doing you be in order to change. Self-evaluate. Like, yeah, yeah. Self how you are. Self-evaluate and see how you are. But do you feel like... The, the way that we say, oh, we need to support our men to be the best they can be, do you think men do that for us? No, not no. all the time. I think you're dating I mean, you the wrong people. I have. I've only had one situation where they've supported me. Yeah, I think that's right. They're not taught yeah, to do that. But I've luckily been in a position where I've actually had that support. Right. And that's a standard in any relationship I'm in. Yeah. I need you at my beck and call when it comes to my work. Like, I need, because <laughs> I'm passionate about it, so I need you to be equally no, as passionate about yeah. it. And if you're not, well, we've got to go. Right. And I do think sometimes though as women we overcompensate and we're super passionate about what they want to do mm. and and their beliefs and mm. their goals that we actually kind of forget yeah. ourselves in yeah. the process and yeah. they so don't it's do just that. trying to and they do don't that. i don't think That's, guys overcompensate for we, females we, we, as much we as women as, for women mm. we as women we are our natural behavior is to nurture because we're the ones that are going to rear the children mm. in, in that sense so i feel like i mean i think a guy can support what you're doing so we have so much to learn from men because men are selfish in a way that i think women should learn to I be agree. i agree like they are very focused on what they want to achieve in the here and now mm. that they, are very, becoming, they never no, com no, they never that. compromise yeah, their they standards don't, like, when it comes they to they don't yeah, compromise they stick meeting. to how they feel yeah, yeah. they don't budge and we should be like that want to see yeah and they want to see you then they trust yeah yeah that's it they will, if they, want to get, I, they will say no. As much as like men can be problematic or whatever, I think we have a lot to learn from them as far as how selfish they can be. Mm -hmm. and, and people often hear selfish and they think and of think a negative a connotation, thing. like yeah. it's bad. But I think that there be. is an art to being selfish. Mm -hmm. And there's an art to selfish being selfish to the point that you don't lose yourself being selfless. And I think that men are so good at doing that. Yeah. Right. And sometimes I have to sit back and look at the men in my life and think, you know what? Why, why did he get from point A to point B? He did mm. it because he, thought he drowned out the noise and he thought about himself. So yeah. maybe I just need to drown out the noise sometimes. Yeah. And if you want to see me, I have to tell you, sorry, I'm shooting heels off. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Like, That's right, sis. You better tell <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Get your friend. Get your friend. Get your friend. Get your friend.